To start off uh, my birdcage, I am using the Prima Divine uh, Collection, really pretty paper. And I, it's kind of off camera, but I am just measuring uh, where in the middle part uh, to where I want to put the paper. And I am going to be cutting out four pieces because, I've, because I'm going to be putting it on the inside as well so that when you look uh, at the birdcage, you don't see the glue on the, from the, the paper on the outside of the birdcage. So here I'm just using my Prima uh, tool and um, now I'm going to be cutting out those uh, other two strips and I don't use um, the full length of the strip um, it's probably about one and a half of the strips and I believe it's probably about um, one almost one and a half inches so you could see that I'm gonna put it on the inside first and I put the glue and then I gotta smash it down so that it's not too much um, so it's more flesh with uh, the bird cage. Okay, so now I have this vintage uh, lace that I got at a thrift store, and it was uh, quite larger. I cut the bottom uh, piece off because the top is really large, um, and then I also, it was ruffled, so I took the string out so it's not ruffled anymore, so it lays flat. So I'm just wrapping that all the way around uh, the bird cage. Okay, so now I'm taking this trim, and I believe I got this trim from Marie. Thank you so much. It's super gorgeous. But I just wanted the scalloped, so I'm cutting off the triangle shapes off of the uh, lace there. And so here I'm taking, uh, I took some uh, Tattered Angels Plain Jane Mist. I believe it's sand. Um, and then there's some Lindy's, I believe. And I just spray them and then now I'm just taking this chipboard piece or I'm sorry a journaling card and they're super small super cute so I thought it was so so cute for the bird cage um, and I just glued it there and then now I'm taking the this vine that I had cut the flowers off of and I'm using the leaves uh, so I'm gonna just try and see how I want it all to go um, and I was having quite the time because uh, the birdcage kept rolling away um, and I do end up changing where I put the other leaves I do put it at the top so there's more leaves at the top I don't leave it th at the bottom so what I do here is when I am using my uh, chipboard pieces as elements where they're, they're going to be popped up a little bit I take off the sticky part plus a layer um, well the part that um, the layer that goes on the sticky part and that sticky part and then I paint it on the back so that you it's not sticky on the back so nothing sticks on the back um, and then so that it looks decent if you look at it so here I'm taking a leaky shed butterfly and just uh, using some gesso and then I spray it with some tattered angels and some lindies so here is a canvas resist piece from the collection and I just sprayed it with some of that plain Jane and then some pink uh, cotton candy I believe and it just has some water in it so it's not as bright um, uh, Lindy's and then just sprayed it and then I'm going to put it on uh, the middle of where the uh, hot air balloon is and here I'm just placing all the the flowers and you didn't see this part but I did cut out the pieces the paper pieces uh, for the inside and the bottom piece of the bird cage so I just traced the circle and it's not perfect because I did distress it 
So, um, but I do put a piece on the bottom so that when you're, because I, um, when you're looking at it uh, from the bottom, you can see the pattern paper instead of the white from the bottom. And then um, here I'm just tracing it out because I am putting a piece of paper, um, two pieces of paper, I'm sorry, glued the white side, the plain side, uh, together so that because it is glass, uh, candle holder so you don't see the white on the bottom um, so you could see a little bit of pattern and there I'm just spraying some more Lindy's on there didn't have it the right color um, that I wanted and then just heat setting it and just kind of getting trying to get it the right shade of pink that I wanted and then there is some flowers that I had pulled apart from the collection and just kind of tucking them behind everything I know half of the time I'm off camera here but um, it's really simple to do to decorate these bird cages, and they're only a dollar. I think they're like a dollar or a dollar fifty. So I painted that the other the back part of that chipboard piece, and that is from the Fairy Bell collection, I believe. So you could see here that I'm just pulling apart those flowers, and then I fold them in half so they're kind of a little bit more dimensional. And I'm just trying to see where I want to tuck it behind. Um, kind of got carried away with all the layers on this bird cage, but I really love how it turned out. This paper is so gorgeous, and every the colors are super pretty. So I'm just tucking that behind there, and seeing how I want everything. And um, you don't see either. I do add a bow of some Mayart's uh, satin ribbon, and here I'm just adding some more flowers. And then there I add, I did add some E6000 and just some hot glue so that it could stand up. But that completes this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.